What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and this is the Dana White's Contender Series 2020 Week 4 full card predictions and preview if you guys already saw the individual videos or you don't want to watch them and you want to see something more brief and just quickly go over my predictions for the card this is the video for you now first fight of the night colin huckbody versus kyron bowen i think huckbody gets it done i think he does so by a decision bowen tough guy on a pretty solid win streak i believe about seven fights uh bowen's excuse me huckbody's also on a win streak i believe of four fights so i think huckbody does get it done though i think he's a superior grappler here in terms of wrestling skill from the top i think he'll be a bit better than kyron bowen also has a bit more experience against higher level fighters i got colin huckbody winning this one now moving up anthony romero mike breeden romero i think he's something special very good striker i think he wins this fight by tko in round number two over the very skilled and tough mike breeden who will definitely be game and make this a competitive matchup while it lasts now moving up jeffrey molina versus jacob silva fun fight here in the flyweight division i'm happy to see flyweights on dana white's contender series this week i think we have a fun matchup i definitely lean towards molina getting the win here i think he does so by a decision and i think it is fairly competitive between him and jacob silva now moving up to the co-main event Rafael Alves and Alejandro Flores. You see Alves 18 and 9 as a professional. Flores 17 and 2. Very good record. High level skills from what we've seen. Both guys very tough. I think Flores is better. I think Flores wins this. I think he does so though by an impressive decision. Maybe impressive enough to earn him a contract even though it's not a finish. But I do see it more going the distance. Could also possibly see a submission win for Flores. But I think Alves is very tough. And he's got almost 30 fights. High level experience that he's had. And I I think he'll be able to go three rounds, but he will lose to Alejandro Flores here. Now, main event of the evening, Jovan Pati and Jamie Pickett is fight in the middleweight division. I think Pati is going to win this fight. I think he stops him in round two or three. I think he does so in the clinch, possibly with knees. He's got nice knees from the clinch. Jamie Pickett, very tough guy. Good control from the top as well. It's a tough matchup. I think it's almost a pick'em's fight here, but I think Pati wins it, man. I think he does, and I think he does so by stoppage. Um, he's six and three as a pro. Jamie Pickett ten and four. Not extremely experienced as Pati, but you know this is going to be his tenth fight. He's developed on the regional scene, and I do think he gets the win and beats Jamie Pickett here. And this for Pickett is his third attempt on Dana White's Contender Series. A loss here would be devastating. If he wins, though, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a contract. Hopefully, if he does so impressively. But I do have Pati winning this one. Overall, though, very fun card for Dana White's Contender Series. Has some good up-and-coming names. We have a nice flyweight bout. Definitely keep an eye on Anthony Romero though. I think he could have one of the most, or if not the most, impressive win of the night. And definitely with a victory, or at least an impressive enough victory, I definitely see him securing a contract inside the UFC at 7-0 as a professional. I think there's a ton of potential here. But alright guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe turn on those post notifications also guys follow my social media instagram and twitter and i will see you all in the next video